Yo, what is going on, Raptors fans? It's your boy Demi, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'll, I'll be recapping the Raptors' fourth quarter versus the Mavericks and how they almost came back 19 down. If you are new, be sure to like button, comment, subscribe. I will be having videos coming each and every day, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you want to do more videos by hitting that like button and doing many things to help the channel grow each and every day. So let's get started. So on our first play here, we have Spencer Dinwiddie just penetrating, getting an easy floater, which makes the score 63 to 82. Then the Raptors retain their possession, and Pascal basically draws help, and basically finds an open shooter in OG for three, and that basically makes the score 66 to 82. So he goes to the line for one and make the first free throw. And apparently it wasn't an M1, so he has to go for two free throws. And he makes the second free throw under a crazy crowd in Dallas. Makes the second free throw. Then Tim Harwick to the kitchen with Christian Wood on the top of the key. Christian Wood with a pump fake. And blowed by Chris Boucher and gets the easy layup and press the Chua. And Ashi is a travel and his wrapped for his ball. Then Paco Siakam leads the way and basically draws help and finds Chris Boucher open for a three. And now the ball game basically is an 11 point ball game. Then basically here, Maxi Kleber finds Tim Hardaway Jr. wide open in the corner. And Tim Hardaway Jr. drains the three right back. And it basically sets the league back to 14. Then here, Pascal draws help, kicks the OG, OG pump fakes, gets a blow by, takes the easy mid range, and makes the score 73 to 85 with three minutes after going to third. Then here the Mavericks, Tim Hardaway just basically blows by a that he gets screened by Maxi Kleber. And basically Christian Wood finishes with the alley-oop layup. Then in the next play here, Patches draw help, and Chris Boucher just takes the easy mid-range and drains over Christian Wood and Tim Hardaway combined. Then in the next play here, Gary Tundra just shoots a three wide open, and basically it misses. And then Boucher gets the rebound and just lays it up and in. At a score now is 83 to 896. Chris Boucher basically draws a foul on Maxi Kleber and basically goes to the line for two free throws. This is at the 10:45 mark in the fourth quarter, and Chris Boucher draws the ball and makes both free throws. As I'm right, makes the first. And then I think he missed the second. Then now Sky at the free throw line. He drains two free throws. I don't know why, but it's a foul with seven minutes left to go in the corner. And then drains the second. Now basically the game is basically a six point ball game with seven minutes left to go in the fourth. And then basically Gotti Barnes probably pushes the a wide open and Precious drains the three. And now the three point ball game. Basically here OG found help. Scotty found Precious wide open and basically Precious drained the first three of the night in the game. And it made it a three point ball game. Now the ball game is three points or less, and he misses a layup and is tapped in by Denny Finney Smith. I see here basically Dwight Powell got hard to the basket, and basically no one crashed the board, and Finney Smith tapped it in. Then in the next play here, OG takes a little mid range on the elbow and it misses, and then Chris Boucher taps the ball live, taps the ball live. And then he loses the ball, and then Luca here on the top of the key finds the white pal, and the white pal gets to the basket. That's the easy drop off path for Finney Smith, and Finney Smith dunks the ball. And now it's basically a seven point ball game. As for the Raptors, there's no defensive communication, this is what led to them scoring on this end. Then here is Scotty Barnes basically just blows by Spencer Dinwiddie and just uses his strength and muscles his way to the basket for an easy skyhook. And he makes it for two points. They give it back to five again. And then Dwight Powell at the line, and he gets two free throws. He makes the first, and at the line again with four minutes left to go in the quarter. He misses the second free throw, and the Raptors are off to the races. And then Chris Boucher basically gets a blow by on the baseline, and then gets the easy floater to go. Ashley. Instead of Chris Boucher, he meant to float in Scotty taps in to keep it alive. Luca Donjas then sets Scotty Barnes a step back and then sends your step back and drains the triple. 
and basically you can saw he sets the dagger, but there's still more to go. Then Scott here is posting up Spencer Dinwiddie, posting him up, and then take the easy layup and make the bucket and makes it. Then afterwards here the Raptors score a good 2 points in possession and there's 15 seconds left and they're down by 4. OG basically gets the rim, takes the 2 as he gets it, and then the Raptors now have to foul. Raptors foul and Luka makes 2 free throws as OG made a dumb foul. Then OG just basically takes the 3 and makes it and that's the ball game. And makes it how the Raptors almost came back down 19-0. And based on how the Raptors almost came back down 19 with the Mavericks. And if you all enjoyed, be sure to like button, click, and find the rest of the last two minutes in the fourth quarter. So be sure to subscribe, like, and then basically that's how the Raptors game finishes. And make sure to like and subscribe. As we've seen here, the Raptors came with more power and energy in the second quarter. And it's led them almost winning the game by a large margin without their superstar in MVP Ascension and Pascal Siakam.